let's see why this bulb failed. My previous video, of course, uh, spoke of bulbs that uh, are flickering and blinking, blinking and non-dimmable when they're supposed to be dimmable and basically just not working properly, not giving up proper light. And uh, But this one here is uh, very new and I had it out in the shed so it was in a you know, cool spot. So uh, you, one would think that it would not fail uh, in a cooler spot, you know, because I guess heat is the... Uh, is the killer of this uh, of these uh, LED bulbs. So this one just outright failed. It didn't blink and never did anything. It was working absolutely perfect. When I turned on the light, I went up into the loft to uh, have a look for something. When I came down, I noticed the light was out, and I thought something else was wrong, but it's the bulb. We're going to go inside. Uh, this looks like it's probably glued together. So I'm just going to see if I can find out why this bulb failed. Let's get inside. Okay, we have the uh, plastic light section. The shield removed and here we have the internals. I may have to go in further to see what's going on here, but uh, so we have uh, some surface mounts here to the right and uh, some kind of a I see. I'm trying to get the uh, the number of it. So this is a looks like a nine watt. That's different. I thought it was more than that. But anyway, you see the LEDs all in the uh, circle here. Sixteen in total. So it looks like we got to go in further. Uh, some solder pad uh, soldering here. I don't know if that's making connection here, but like I say. I'm going to get the meter and check, see why this just light just decided to fail. So we may have to go in a bit deeper. Okay, it's going to be a bit difficult to do this. But I have this on the resistance here. And I'm going to check, see if we can get uh, something on the go here. I'll try this point here, the solder point. And... Uh, Okay, that's the ground. Touching the ground here, over here on the uh, bottom of the light. Getting a reading, but not getting continuity. And uh, let's move over here. Touching the ground, no reading. And touching the hot, the live, no reading. So there's a disconnect between this solder point here and the tail and the the tail of the bulb. So we need to go a bit deeper. Okay, it's a silicone ring here. I think. Try to keep this in shot. And uh, we'll just keep going around until we get to the end. There we go. Looks like a little clip here of some sort, but let's see if we can pry this out. Hmm. That's going to be difficult to get out without breaking. <coughs> so I really won't need to let this go. But uh, let's see if we can see in there. We have some more circuitry in there. I see a capacitor of sorts, perhaps, and a circuit board. I'm trying to keep this in the shot, but my apologies. So we're just going to have to basically just break this, I guess, to get in to... Let's see what we can do. Here we go. The wires are off the base. Obviously, the ground. There's a resistor here. Capacitor. Another kind of a capacitor. What could have failed? Seriously. Got another IC here. And uh, looks like another resistor, surface mount, right here. Really, honestly, and truly. And the components looked 
look great. I mean, the capacitor looks okay. I can check that. And there. Resistor back here. That's it. Wow. Anyway, uh, I guess we're testing some components here. I might have to take them out of a out of circuit to test them, but something's obviously failed here. Okay, I have uh, the uh, bulb jury rigged. Basically, what I've done is I got a my handy helper here, my vice, and I locked in a AC cord here, and I have the it's on plug now. I have the resistor wire stuck into one side and the red wire stuck into the other side. Now technically if there was a bad connection on this, which I think that's what it was, why I don't know, um, I'm thinking the resistor side was let go because it just seemed like the red was the only one that was holding when I had to pull it apart. But there was no way to tell. Um, so let's give it a power up and see what happens. Okay, nothing. Checking for connection. Unplugged again, of course. <clears throat> Make sure. Here we go. Oh, interesting. It's working. So the solder point failed on this bulb. And I think it's the resistor. Unplugged again. Yeah, I'm thinking this uh, this resistor wire was was let go and I'm thinking it was probably on the ground. And uh, so there you have it. And you know what? This here is feeling warm already. That was that wasn't on very long. It's already getting warm. It's kind of a heat sink back here, this aluminum here. So there you have it. This bulb is basically destroyed. I, I don't know if I can get this cap back off, but I may, t I may make, take this and wire it uh, somehow. I don't know. To use it again, what you're going to do? Put it back in there. It's destroyed. Total waste of money. Garbage. Anyway, thanks for watching.